Hi folks, we have quite a few people getting ready for marathons coming up, so I thought today we would talk a little bit about fat loading. So you've probably heard of fat loading before. Everybody's heard of carbo loading as it relates to a marathon. This doesn't replace carbo loading, but there is fat loading that occurs before the carbo loading. Now fat loading has been around for years and years. It's probably really only the last several years though that's really came into vogue with a lot of people playing with fat loading and seeing some good results with it. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about it. So the first thing you should know is that at best, it's an edge, meaning you don't have to fat load. It is far from required. What's an edge? I'm going to guess, and this I'm just pulling a number out of the air, you're talking, you know, maybe you're going to save a minute on your marathon. Now, a minute can be a lot, especially if you're trying to get a BQ or something. But just remember, you know, at best, it's an edge. It's not something that you have to do. It is something that I would recommend that you try and practice just to make sure that your body is okay with it. It probably should be. How would you practice? Well, ideally, maybe it's something that you would do in the weeks leading up to, say, a half marathon. So you're getting that race type of effort. If not, maybe you're going to do it before a 20 mile or an 18 mile. Just, just something to make sure it's all right. There's a balance there because one of the downsides of fat loading is that you're not getting the carbs that you always need for your training. So it's tough to do in training, but I do think you need to practice with a little bit. So how do you do fat loading? Well, so... You do about 10 days of a high fat diet and then you do a three day carb loading like you would normally do for a marathon. So this all starts about two weeks before your marathon, 10 days of fat loading and then the three days of carb loading. Here comes the bad news, sorry, no bacon. This is not just any fat that you try and want to have. You have to have what are known as the good fats. I'll show you a list here of some items that are good fats. There are others, so what are good fats? olive oil, nuts, whole milk, Greek yogurt, avocados, the things that are your good fats, that's what you want to get. And your target is to get about 65% of your diet is going to come from those good fats. That's actually kind of hard to do because there's not a lot of good fats. You eat a lot of the same foods over and over again. And by the way, I never mentioned the reason you're doing this is to kind of get your body acclimated to using fat as a fuel source and what the studies show or hope is then when you get into the marathon, you're able to better metabolize fat because a marathon is all about being really good with fuel. So 65% is the target you want to have. You want to focus on good fats. Make sure you get some practice. Remember, it's an edge, not a necessity.